YouTube. In today's video, as you guys can tell from the thumbnail and title, we're going over my top five assault rifle loadouts in Warzone Season 4 Reloaded. Because if you guys didn't see, I just did a top five SMGs, and all the comments are saying is do top five ARs, which I already planned on doing because this list probably changed even more than my SMG list did. So, like I said, I wanted to go back through and showcase my top five assault rifle loadies. But before I hopping into anything, I want to give a huge shout out to Dylan, Hoops, and Matthew for having my post notifications on. If you guys want a chance of getting my next video, make sure you guys go down below and hit that big red subscribe button, as well as leaving a like and a comment saying noties and watch the full video through but like i said we got my top five best assault rifles in the game right now so without further ado stop directly into loading number one loading number one completely different from before is the stg 44 if you guys haven't been paying attention world series and everything going on i've been playing a lot of rebirth and caldera so all these builds are going to be good for both maps but the stg has been feeling crazy for me like the mobility how fast it is it just feels incredible swapping so directly into the build of course i have the mx silencer giving you your sound special with your vertical and horizontal recoil control and of course that damage range overall making you way more of a beam and making you hit harder mixing that with the vdd 760 05b barrel making you more highly accurate and controllable of course increasing that damage range again mixing very well with the silencer reducing the scope swing gun bob and giving you that very important bolt velocity getting you closer to hit skin and then with my build on the stg it really has close to no recoil whatsoever and it's very controllable in the spots that it does have recoil so in my opinion i love tossing on the three to six x scope because it's just an absolute beam on the three zoom or the six zoom but i always tell you guys the optics for personal preference and then of course i have the vdd 34s weighted stock as well giving you even more accuracy flinch resistance recoil control and aiming stability making you so much more accurate in every possible situation across the map especially when you mix in the m1941 hand stop giving you even more vertical and horizontal recoil control again mixing very well with all the other attachments on the build making it truly an absolute laser beam that you could really use at any spot of the map of course then you toss in the Garinko 50 mag giving you everything you need with the recoil control and accuracy making you more of a beam that movement speed that i was telling you guys before that i just love about this build the ads speed making you more snappy and of course that fire rate letting you shred through people even faster and then with the barrel i told you guys the bolt velocity is very important and essential on the build so i tossed the length and ammo type giving you even more of it again getting you close to the hit skin and then just like all the other attachments that recoil control is crazy so i tossed in the hatch grip giving you even more of it with the vertical and horizontal recoil control again also with that flinch resistance making it to where you're an absolute beam in every situation even if someone's beaming you with acrobatic for your perk one and on hand for your perk two but you could also use fully loaded if you want but overall that's my full stg build i'm telling you guys this thing is absolutely disgusting it's the new number one spot for my ar list which is completely different from before i always had the nz41 up there but after all those nerfs that thing definitely took a drop but this thing is absolutely disgusting so go through give the whole build a try to have the highest kill game you guys get with this thing off the do stop directly into loading number two like i was saying with the stg i've been playing a lot of rebirth and caldera so this gun is definitely more of a caldera weapon but it is also very good on rebirth it's the kgm40 for my loading number two this thing is just absolutely disgusting as well very easy to use probably even less recoil than the stg so hopping directly into this build of course just like the stg we have the mx silencer this is pretty much on all of my vanguard primaries doing the exact same pros and cons overall making you way more of a beam and making you hit harder mixing that with the 720 mm shrouded barrel giving you even more recoil control and actually flinch resistance reducing the scope swing gun bop and of course that very essential bolt velocity overall making you way more of a beam in every situation and of course getting you closer to the hit skin and i know i'm comparing it to the stg a lot but just like the stg i'm telling you guys this thing really doesn't move or bounce at all so the three to six x scope is again perfect on this build as well but i'm telling you guys the optics are 100 percent always personal preference and then for my personal build i love using the vdd 22g padded stock giving you recoil control recoil recovery movement speed which is huge and accuracy on this build making you way more of a beam in every way but that movement speed is very important because the kg really feels like an lmg in a lot of spots and with it feeling like an lmg you need more mobility back on this thing so instead of the hand stop or anything i toss in the mark six skeletal giving you back some ads speed and movement speed again making it to where you're really gliding around the map a little bit better and of course giving you that ads speed making you more snappy i also use the eight millimeter clauser 60 round drum mag just giving you mag size i mean it doesn't really do anything else it does slow you down a little bit which is kind of noticeable but the 60 round drum mag is just more than enough ammo especially with this build and then again just like the barrel that bolt velocity is very important for the build so i toss in the length and ammo type again giving you even more of it getting you close to the hit scan and then on this build i don't run the hatch grip or anything i run the polymer grip giving you even more flinch resistance and of course that accuracy and recoil during sustained fire truly making you a beam in every situation because this is going to allow you to stay locked in and beaming even if someone's just beaming you with tight grip for your perk one and fully loaded for your perk two of course this came out of nowhere this wasn't even on my list in the last top five ar video but this thing is absolutely disgusting you guys got to go through and give the entire build a try and tell me the highest kill game you guys get with this one but like i was telling you guys this is definitely more of a big map or a fortunes keep type gun definitely not on the rebirth side of things but it is good on rebirth as well so like i said this is my load number two it's absolutely filthy but without further ado i'm directly into loading number three loading number three is of course the nz 
41. This thing is absolutely disgusting. So, I mean, it's not my number one spot anymore, but it's still very good, especially on Rebirth. It's not the best on the big map for Caldera or Fortune's Keep, in my opinion, but on Rebirth, it still kills incredibly quick. So, hopping directly into the build, just like the other two builds, of course, you have the MX Silencer giving you the exact same pros and cons, making it to where you're hitting harder and you're more of a beam. And then on the NZ41, I personally love the Orb Weaver 360 barrel, making it more highly accurate and controllable, reducing the scope sway and gun bop, and of course, that very important bolt velocity on all these assault rifles, getting you closer to hit scan. Then, for the exact same reasons as the other two assault rifles, I love the SVT 43 through 6X scope on the NZ41 as well. But I always tell you guys the optics are personal preference. I also toss in the Orb Weaver E pack, giving you even more recoil control, recoil recovery, accuracy, and flinch resistance, truly making you a beam in every possible way. This thing helps out the build so much that it just makes it feel way more viable across any point of the map. And then instead of the hand stop or anything, I absolutely love the M1930 Strife angled on this build, just giving you horizontal recoil control. Definitely not as much as the hand stop, but for some reason, I can't really explain why. Across the map, I just feel way smoother with the strife angled over the hand stop. And then obviously, this does come down to preference as well. You can run the 40 or the 50, but the 40, in my opinion, just feels way better because like I was telling you guys, this build is definitely more meant for rebirth instead of the big map. So the 40 works perfectly fine for me. And then like I've described for almost every assault rifle so far, that bolt velocity is very important for all these builds. So of course, for the NC41 too, I'm tossing the length and ammo type, giving you even more of it. With the hatch grip, giving you vertical and horizontal recoil control. And of course, that flinch resistance, making you more of a beam, mixing very well with the rest of the build, making to where it really is controllable in every way. With brace for your perk one and fully loaded for your perk two. Overall, that's my NZ41 build. It still stayed the same over all this time, even after all the nerfs, but this did drop from number one to number three on this list. It's still absolutely incredible, but like I've said multiple times, it's not that much of a Caldera or Fortune's Keep weapon, in my opinion, but it's definitely really good on Rebirth still because it's still fast. It still kills incredibly fast. So go through, give the whole build a try. Tell them the highest kill game you guys get with this one. Off the do, I'll directly into loaded number four. Loaded number four is one of my favorite guns in the entire game. As you can tell behind me, it's the Cooper Carbine. Very easy to use, very clean. It's honestly fun to use. So definitely hopping directly into the build. Same thing as the other ARs is the MX Silencer. It's very, very essential on the build. Giving you the exact same pros and cons with the sound suppression, with the horizontal and vertical recoil control. And of course, that damage range. One of the big reasons why the Cooper is an absolute beam. Mixing that with the 22 inch Cooper custom barrel, making it more highly accurate and controllable. Increasing the fire rate, which is incredible because the Cooper already has a very fast fire rate. Reducing the scope swing gun bob and again, increasing that damage range, which helps out the Cooper a ton, especially because it's mixing in very well with the MX silencer. And then I don't really have to describe why I use it, but the Cooper has no recoil. So I tossed in a three to six X scope again, because it's just very easy to use from any part of the map. But I always tell you guys, the optics are personal preference. And then this is actually a little bit different. I used to run the 45 RS stock, but I switched up to the padded because it just feels really good on the build for me, giving you more accuracy and recoil during sustained fire. And of course that flinch resistance, making it to where if someone's beaming you, you're staying locked in and you are not jumping to the moon. Especially when you mix in with the M1941 hand stop again on this build, giving you even more vertical and horizontal recoil control, mixing in with all the other attachments. And again, one of the big reasons why the Cooper does not move at all. Also mixing in the nine millimeter 60 round drum mag, giving you everything you need for the build with the recoil control and accuracy, fire rate, ADS speed, and mag size, making it to where collectively you kill faster, you're snappier, you're more of a beam, and of course you have more than enough ammo. And then also I always run lengthen on my AR builds, but for the Cooper, I love the compressed rounds. I finally gave them a try and the increase on fire rate, mixing in with the mag and the barrel on top of the base fire rate the Cooper already has, lets you shred through people so incredibly fast. Also, you're mixing the hatch grip, giving you even more vertical and horizontal recoil control. And of course, even more flinch resistance, making it to where you really are a beam in any possible situation across the map with tight grip for your perk one and fully loaded for your perk two. But overall, that's my full Cooper build. Like I said, one of my favorite guns in the entire game. It's incredible and it's very fun to use. So go through, give the entire build a try. Tell them the highest kill game you guys get with this thing. And I'm going to tell you guys, you guys are going to love this build. Without further ado, let's hop directly into loading number five. Loading number five, as you can tell behind me, is the XM4, which I just posted a full in-depth video just yesterday. It's absolutely disgusting. And it still kills incredibly fast, which honestly caught me off guard. I didn't know it was still that good. But I'm directly into the build is the agency suppressor, because you guys don't remember on these Cold War weapons, the agency suppressor is very essential for these builds. It's just like the MX Silencer. It's just like the Monolithic. And it helps out the gun a ton, giving you even more vertical recoil control with that sound suppression, bolt velocity, and damage range, making to where you're hitting way harder and you're closer to hit scan. Also mixing in the 13.5 inch Task Force barrel, giving you even more bolt velocity, horizontal, and vertical recoil control. And of course, that damage range, again, making it to where you are very controllable. You're more of a beam and you're hitting way harder as well. And then in my opinion, this is the only good scope option out of all the Cold War options, but the extra arms three times is a very clean, perfect little circle that I absolutely love using in my builds. But I'm going to say for the fourth time in a row or the fifth time in a row that the optics are always personal preference. And then the XM4 really does bounce quite a bit. So I tossed in the field agent four grip as well, giving you even more horizontal and vertical recoil control, mixing with the rest of the build, making it to where it is a little bit more controllable. And then of course, every time I run the XM4, I have the 45 round mag on, but you could always run the 45 or the 60. It comes down to preference 
difference, but you do get a noticeable amount of mobility and ADS speed back when you use the 45. But of course, that's my XM4 build that I just showcased yesterday. I'm telling you guys, this thing is absolutely disgusting and it caught me off guard with how good it still is because at one point, this was running Warzone, but it still kills incredibly fast. So go through, give this whole build a try as well. But I also have an honorable mention for the list giving you top six. So let's hop directly into that real quick. For my honorable mention, as you can tell from the thumbnail, is the Automaton. This thing is absolutely disgusting. I've been seeing a lot of people run it back with it recently, especially on Caldera. So this build is good for any map that you want to run it on. And it's still absolutely disgusting because it's just such a beam. So hop it directly into the build. You have the exact same attachments as the other builds. You have the MX on, so just like all my Vanguard primaries. Mixing in the Zac 600 barrel, giving you more accuracy, making it more controllable, and of course, reducing that scope swing gun bob, making it to where you're just an absolute beam. Also, again, mixing the 3 to 6x scope, very self-explanatory. Mixing in also the Anastasia padded stock, giving you the same stuff to make you a beam, and even if someone's beaming you. And then, of course, you have the M1941 hand stop, giving you vertical recoil control, which they changed. This doesn't give you vertical and horizontal anymore, but it still makes you such a beam. And then you're also mixing in the 75 round drum mag, just giving you mag size, which is very essential for the build, but it doesn't give you anything else. And then, of course, you have your length and ammo type and the hatched grip, again, giving you vertical and horizontal recoil control, mixing in even more flinch resistance, making sure you are just a beam in every way. And of course, you have tight grip and fully loaded for your perks. But I'm telling you guys, this is my honorable mention, and this thing is absolutely disgusting. You guys see it in the thumbnail, it just looks fantastic and it plays fantastic. It also kills incredibly fast. So go through, give the automaton build a try as well. But overall, those are my top six loadies. So go through, give every single loadout a try. Tell me if they do help you guys out at all. And if they do, go down below and hit that big red subscribe button. That's it for the video.